So I want to provide you guys with a quick tip. If um, your real rear wheel axle uh, have a lot of free play during your riding. So what I mean by free play is this is a 12 millimeter um, um, axle, okay, through axle. So while I was riding, I noticed that my my wheel is going laterally from left to right, like going this way. A lot of free play, even with the axle like fully tightened. Uh, this is my axle right here. So I put my axle in and I locked the bike, and uh, um, but the wheel was just moving around like crazy. I, I don't know why. So I took the wheel off and I was inspecting and this is the area you need to pay special attention to this little like thing with a 17 millimeter like wrench socket right here. Why I took the wheel out, this little piece is actually loose. So I don't have a very thin 17 millimeter spanner to tighten this. I just used my wrench, I pinched on the side and I just tightened it. But the proper way to do this would be having a very thin 17 millimeter cone wrench and just properly tighten this area while you're holding this area. So this area is kind of easier to access. Um, let's actually measure the proper size for this wheel. And this one is probably also 17 millimeter. Yeah. So yeah, about 17 millimeter. I would assume this is actually also the 17 millimeter cone wrench that you need. So, um, but I think over here you can use a another wrench, kind of because. Let me see if I can zoom in. Basically, you need to grip this area and tighten this area because this thing actually comes off like quite easily on my bike. I don't know if it's designed to be like this. This is my first through axle bike. So it's uh, it's kind of weird that it's doing that. But I just tightened this, this little cone right here and all the free play is gone. Like right now there's zero free play. And uh, the free play also caused my shifting to be erratic. I can upshift properly, but then when I try to downshift, it just stuck there and only because it was doing lateral movement, it's not allowing the proper precise shifting for this bike. And that is why it's causing the shifting issue as well. So if you guys have a through axle um, like mine, the 12 millimeter on the rear, this is a uh, endurance flat bar bike, definitely check this little cone out and it might be loose. So basically you just turn uh, counterclockwise to tighten it and uh, all my issues work out and that's how easy it is um, that I fixed this all right so I just want to share this with you guys um, in case you have the same issue I almost was about to buy a brand new set of cassette wheel set um, the rear derailers because my shifting was not precise and this little loose nut was actually the cause all right so thanks again guys for watching. I uh, hope you found this video helpful. If you did, please do hit the like button or subscribe to my channel and I will have more bicycle maintenance related videos coming out for you guys. Thanks again and uh, take care.